What's up guys, I'm the Educated Barfly, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about the new Perry Mason series. And since it takes place during Prohibition, we thought that we would bring you a different Prohibition era cocktail every week that you can enjoy while you're watching the show. For the first episode though, we're gonna be bringing you two Prohibition era cocktails, the first of which is called the Bee's Knees. So the Bee's Knees is a term that was a slang term of the era that literally means everything that is sweet and good. Uh, and what it comes from is that basically when a bee flits from flower to flower, uh, it collects all of the nectar onto its legs, hence all of the good stuff is on its knees. Uh, so it should come as no surprise to you that there is honey in this cocktail. Uh, let's get into making it. So first thing we're going to do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, followed by three quarters of an ounce of honey. And then we're gonna be doing two ounces of gin, and I'm using Mulholland Distilling Gin, which is from LA. And since the show takes place in LA, and this gin is gonna go very well in the cocktail, I thought it was kind of a no-brainer. Then we're just gonna put a little ice in our tin, and then add the cocktail, then a nice shake. Center our glass. And I like to give it a little double strain to get rid of the ice shards. We got some nice aeration of the lemon there, which is really beautiful and kind of what you're looking for when you shake your cocktails. Give it a little lemon wedge garnish. Now let's get, take it a sip. Wow, that's good. So what's great about this drink is that you have, you know, the lemon and the honey, which kind of really balance each other out. You have the tartness of the lemon. You've got this like savory sweetness of the honey. What's great about honey is that it's very sweet. It's arguably even sweeter than sugar, but it, it's very kind of a savory sort of sweet when it, sweetness that really lets the lemon kind of shine through. And then you have the nice botanicals of the gin just kind of bringing everything up from the back end. Uh, and what I love about Mulholland is it actually has a lot of cucumber in its flavor profile, which you might not think would go that well with honey, but it actually goes fantastically well. And what you have is a really nice, round, very complex flavored cocktail. That is good. So there it is, guys. The bee's knees. So the next cocktail we're doing is called a scofflaw. Scofflaw is a prohibition era term used to describe someone who drinks alcohol illegally. And it was coined because of a Massachusetts prohibitionist by the name of Del Caver King. So he was so incensed that people would drink alcohol outside of the bounds of the law that he wanted to come up with a shaming term to get people to stop drinking alcohol. Uh, but instead of doing it himself, he decided that he would hold a contest and pay $200 to anyone that could come up with the most artful term. The contest was won by a couple, Henry Irving Dale and Kate L. Butler. Uh, and what I think is really great about this whole thing is that instead of shaming people, uh, that couple won their $200 and it was just turned into a really fantastic cocktail name. All right, let's get into making the drink. So first thing we are gonna do is three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. And then we're doing half an ounce of grenadine. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. And an ounce and a half of Old Forester 100 proof rye. We're just gonna add our ice to our tin, add our cocktail, give it a shake. Center our glass. Give it a nice strain. Kind of a high wash line, but that's all right. That's all right. We're doing it at home. It's not for service. And then we're gonna just do a big lemon peel. I like to nice, get a nice long lemon peel. Give it a little zest on top. 
And then for presentation purposes, we're gonna cut a nice little garnish here. So clean up the sides. I like to give it like a parallelogram kind of shape to it. Cut a notch in the middle. Give it a nice little twist. And then I'm gonna artfully place it on the side of the glass. We have a nice artful lemon twist. And then you know, what's really great about this lemon twist is that as you sip it, you can smell the citrus as you drink, which kind of informs your taste. So give it a nice sip. So what's really great about this drink is that you get the rye, the spice of the rye, that ca rye character right up front, which is immediately tamped down by the dryness of the vermouth and the tart dryness of the lemon. And then you have that uh, grenadine coming right in at the end. You get that nice sort of savory sweetness of the pomegranate syrup, which just gives it this nice, it's just like dry kind of rye flavor. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. It's perfectly balanced. I got to take another sip. It's so good. Oh, it's so satisfying. You know, what's really great about this drink is it's also such a nice intro uh, to whiskey for people who might not think they like whiskey. So there it is, guys. The masterwork, the Scofflaw. And there you have it, two wonderful Prohibition era cocktails for you to enjoy. And don't forget to tune into HBO's new original series, Perry Mason, Sundays at 9 on HBO.